Welcome to the learning series brought to you by the Rogers Corporation. Today's topic, recommended venting patterns for RO4000 multi-layer boards. Now here's your host, Mike Kujai. Hello, I'm Mike Kujai of Rogers Corporation, where I manage the circuit processing technology group and also help to manage our global technical support structure. Our highly successful RO4000 product family was launched almost two decades ago as the first material system to provide PTFE-like electrical performance while processing like FR4 materials. It was true then, and still is true, that, these, that the RO4000 materials do process more like FR4 than they do like PTFE materials. However, there are some differences between RO4000 and FR4 materials that cause a need for some special considerations in the PCB process. Minimum melt viscosity, for example, is one difference between FR4 and RO4000 materials that affects the PCB process. This chart shows the minimum melt viscosity on the y-axis of RO4450B and RO4450F prepregs to be nearly two orders of magnitude higher than a traditional FR4 type prepreg when tested using the same thermal profile. The minimum melt viscosity would indicate the FR4 materials are capable of very significant lateral flow during a multilayer bonding process. Because of the high flow capability, venting patterns in FR4 inner layers are typically solid or nearly solid copper structures. Vertically stacked copper frames create high pressure regions around the periphery of a panel, thereby directing flow of the FR4 resin toward the center. For RO4450F prepregs, which are not capable of significant lateral flow, the vertically stacked copper layers define thickness spacing between layers and create volumetric fill requirements that the high melt viscosity adhesive system can't achieve. Hence, poor adhesion and voiding can occur at the bond lines. The preferred venting pattern for RO4000 signal layers and etch-off layers in multi-layer constructions would be copper dots that are offset on opposing inner layer surfaces. The offset copper dots add much less copper thickness to the perimeter of the panel and each dot, in effect, pushes the prepreg toward the opposing inner layer surface, thereby beginning the fill process even before the pressing cycle begins. The copper dots can be 150 to 200 microns in diameter and on 450 to 500 mil centers. Nearly solid copper patterns are preferred for venting plane layers in RO4000 MLB constructions. In the case of plane layers, it is preferred to have 125 to 150 mil wide venting channels etched into the copper borders. Properly sized venting channels permit the evacuation of air during a short vacuum drawdown and are within the lateral flow capability of the RO4450 bond ply layers. Thank you for watching this learning series video on recommended venting patterns for RO4000 multilayer boards. Please visit our webpage at rogerscorp.com to contact a Rogers technical service engineer for more information about processing Rogers high performance printed circuit board materials. For additional information and technical tools, if you're not already a member, join the Rogers technical support hub and gain access to calculators, technical papers, and more Rogers Corporation informational videos. Rogers Technical Information is also available at your fingertips with the Rog mobile app, available for the iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Check it out today.